Hello, this is Double Talk 73, and we're going to participate again today, or this evening, in the lucky spot. Let's see what we can do. Okay, what I'm going to be using is the RiverTech Salminator, 8 foot 10 inch, my 5500 Thunderspin, X Series Flora 025 line. And X series frog popper, five eighths ounce. Okay, that's what I used last time, and we'll see if we can get better. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Okay, let's get over here. See if we can't catch us a uni or two or three, hopefully. Just one speed retrieve pop. Maybe there won't be as many. Chain pickerels this time. Well, last time I caught more pickerels than I did bass. <laughs> and you saw where I was. I landed at the pecan hut, went to the right, the walkway to the right of that log sticking up. Yeah, we'll see. These were fishing, we're trying, we're having fun. I'm having fun. And if you ever try this competition, I hope you have fun too. Go just a little beyond it. Last time I started somewhere else and then came over here. And this is where I caught most of my fish. So I should just stay here, I guess. <gasps> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I ain't wanted to, but it didn't. <laughs> uh. At least with lures, I don't have to, like I do when I fish with bait, nothing happens for a little while, really, and reset. I'm resetting <laughs> every time. There we go. There's a little one. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. It's a start. Yes, that's a start. Thank you. Better than a kick in the head. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Ah, that little better, maybe. There we go. Thank you. I'll take a whole basket full of them that, that size. I wouldn't, wouldn't hurt my feelings one bit. About 15 of them, 3 pounds. Yeah, all right. That's asking a lot, I know. back and get it. Come on. Come on back. There we go. Come back and get it. Thank you very much. Or 30, 40 that size. <laughs> 30. 30 would do it, yeah. <laughs> uh, you got to ask for something. Doesn't cost nothing to ask. 
And if you like my video, please subscribe. That button down there below. And if you have any suggestions how I can improve my videos, let me know. Here we go with the chains again. <laughs> uh. And I still don't understand the people that say that they can't hear because I check my videos, except for when I'm dumb and don't turn on my microphone, that old man fart thing, I can, I can hear. I hear I can, the sound comes through pretty nice, really. I'm very, very pleased with the microphone. But I don't, I don't know why they can't hear it. But all I can do is try. But I appreciate the comment. And I've got a new thumbnail. Uh, Luris designed it for me and sent it to me as one of my friends on Steam. And it is awesome. This will be the first video that I put it up on. And I hope y'all like it because I, I think it looks great. It's just plum sharp. And I thank him very, very much. Because that was that was very considerate, very kind. That gold fish on the purple background that I had, a gentleman drew that for me freehand. And he drew me a couple others. He drew me one of Alaska with wolf and bear and salmon and stuff like that then he since I'm Cherokee Indian he drew me another one with a dream weaver in it and I thought that's pretty cool okay it's about time for a uni come on don't let me down don't let me down not counting on it but yeah you know gotta ask Here, uni, 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 here, uni. Come here, uni. Come to papa. Don't be bashful. One gentleman, after watching this video, uh, where I explained where to catch him, said that he went there and tried it. And in about 15 minutes, <coughs> caught his first uni. <coughs> and then exactly 30 minutes later, caught another one. Which is what I said. They spawn every 30 minutes here. But you got to catch the first one. Then you'll catch one in 30 minutes, hopefully. That's, that's the plan. That's the plan. A uh, pickerel. A pickerel plan. With this rig, I almost clip the line but I don't want to take a chance because gar run everywhere through this lake and if a gar ran through here and grabbed my popper and took off with it and broke the line oh man that would be terrible because I'd have to win a competition to get it back that's the only way Come on, Uni. Uni a trophy. Come on.
giving it all I got. Come on, fish. Fish, cooperate with me. With me. He started off all right. Thought he's going to cooperate with me more. Let's try a little over here. Any yinnies up there yet? Oh, there we go. There's another trophy. We'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I ah, thought it was a trophy. Guy <laughs> ah. said, "Good luck, all." I said, "You too." That's all you can say. Good luck. Give it a good old college try. Yeah. Come on back. See if it's still there. See if it's still there. We got the carpenter bees flying around my house the last couple of days. They bore the absolute perfectly round holes in the pine of my deck floor joists. So I read somewhere that if you put a shiny penny in a clear sandwich bag with water and hang it up, they think it's a wasp nest and they won't come around. So I put them all around the two entrances to the bottom of my deck. And I was up and down the ladder. I'm tired. I know, man, that up and down ladder business, that work on you. Hope you work. We'll find out, I guess. Come on, Uni. Come on. Don't let me down. Get out of here. I'll take a little and <gasps> wrong little. <laughs> uh. Now, what's funny, probably if I was in a, a chain pickerel contest, I'd be catching more spotted bass than fleas on a dog. Come on back and get it. There we go. Thank you. That ain't the uni, but we'll take it. Hey, it was a trophy. <sighs> Only 28 more of them. <laughs> I tell you, that last competition where I caught that uni, just as the whistle sounded in the competition, that was a heartbreaker. Believe me, believe me. Not only for me, but for my buddy who was in the competition with me. And 
in Lurus watched it. And same thing. It's just not enough time. Come on. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. It's like catching those bass down in Florida. Just keep banging that same hole. Just bang it, bang it, bang it. If you watch that video, you see I bang the right side of the channel and go over along the reed bed. We bang the right side. Catch one there and go back over to the channel. Catch one there and go back over to the reed bed. And it works. That's all I can say. And I show how you can use that pink frog popper. It's not as effective as this X series frog popper, but the pink one works too. <laughs> My phone, I've got it on airplane mode and it just woke up and said I had to connect to the internet <laughs> come on come on back come on back come on thank you ah, missed it twice my bad that may have been my uni who knows the game knows that's for sure Still no unis up there on the top. Four pounds. A little over four pounds is the biggest one so far. Okay, let's see if we can get that one to come back and hit again. Come on. Coax it real nice. Coax it real nice. There we go. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Another trophy. Okay. Keep them cards and letters coming. Yeah. <clears throat> Boy, I ate some. There's a trophy. There's a uni. I ate some strawberry. I mean raspberry. Sherbet just a little bit ago. Ate some of it just before the game started. It's got my throat <laughs> cold. Oh, did you see that? What that lure did? Oh, something big hit it that time. Knocked it all the way to the bottom. You would like to call it that one. That happens a lot over at that other place where I fish for the first spots. And they'll, they'll hit it and drag it halfway across the screen and then let go. Well, the competition is almost half over and I don't have one uni, let alone the three that I wanted. We'll take these little ones, they just keep coming. Keep them cards and letters. There we go. It's a four pounder. That's not a little one. We'll take it. Keep them cards and letters coming in. I will probably just about have to double what I've caught so far to stay in the top ten. Around 42 would be my guess. And they slowed down a little bit from when I first started. So that's after 7 o'clock now. We fished for an hour and 14 minutes. Game time. Yep. Right around at the top of the hour, they slow down usually. Just about whatever you're catching. And then about 10, 15 minutes afterwards, they start picking up again. So maybe we'll get that uni yet. Don't get if I don't throw out there, that's for sure. Come 
on, don't be a pickle. Don't be a pickle. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be a pickle. Don't be a pickle. Don't get picky. Don't be a pickle. Now, this is more trophies than I caught in that last competition. But I already had one uni by this time. So, you know, you never know. You never know. Hey, pickerel. Pickerel. The only thing about the pickerel is when you catch them, that's a wasted cast and wasted time. A little money, but that's that's no points. And waiting points is what we're after. If I want money, I'll go to California for sturgeon or go to Michigan for blues. Come on, fish. Hit that thing and send that bar graft all the way to the top. Work it out. Work it out. There's another uni. Nice one. Nice one. All you can say. Forgive me. We're down the wrong hole. It don't feel good. <laughs> it made my eyes water. <laughs> and I know that didn't sound good on the microphone, so well, I sure do apologize. Well, they're moving me on down. There's a uni at number one now. <coughs> Come on back and get it. Come on back and get it. Come on, uni. Mercy, mercy. But like I say, <clears throat> if you don't try, you ain't gonna get nothing. You gotta try. Just keep on trying. If I ain't trying, I'm lying. <laughs> there we go. There's the first one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. 7.32. That the big one so far. I needed that. <clears throat> that was a nice kick in the tail. Thank you, thank you. So we know at 802 we should should, if we're lucky, get another one. If we're lucky. And we can stop catching pit chain pickerels. <laughs> I said nice and I said thank you. Well, we know we ain't going to get one for at least 30 minutes, so maybe we'll catch some more trophies or, 
for uh, small ones. I'll take them, whatever. So they add up to weight. They add up to weight. They add up to weight. Just barely out of first. Oops, sorry. There's that guy caught another one. That's nice. Very nice. I always compliment people when they do good. That's just that's just the way to be. There was a guy asked me the other yesterday, I believe it was yesterday morning, if I knew where to catch steelheads in California on bottom rods. Excuse me, on bottom rods. Well, I didn't. But what I did is I went and figured out where to catch them on that white belly, black back, four aught popper. So I found them for him, and I said, that's where they are. And I told him, give him an idea of what to use as a bait, because it seemed like when I'm fishing for sturgeon, Three odd hook, spam sack, sp spawn sack, and uh, spam sack, and uh, a 12 inch leader that I get steelhead every once in a while. And I thought, well, maybe they'll hit it. So I suggested that. And he found them, sent me a marker. And it was one of the places that I suggested that I'd caught with the. Uh, thank you with the uh, popper and then today I was peeling around and I saw these two I think they were Chinese gentlemen just catching steelhead one right after another one right after another so they were over on the face of the dam fishing and I didn't even know that I thought the rocks started at the dam and they went down river but if you stand on the rocks and turn around you can fish towards the dam there's 50, 60, 75 feet that you can fish in. And that's where they were catching a steelhead. So I started fishing there, and I caught them with... Uh, I, I put a video on. I caught them with the with, uh, popper. I caught them with uh, down rods, and I caught them with float. So that was that was pretty productive. Learned a little bit of three different ways to catch them there in one time. But... Catch them with the popper from five until six, and then they quit. Catch them with the down rod from five to seven, and they quit. Same thing with the uh, float. They just I kept on fishing after <coughs> seven o'clock in the morning and tried all three of them, and they just they just quit altogether. But uh, you can catch them there, just like. The bass here. You can catch them. What I'm trying to do is show you where, when, what, and how. And then you take that and adapt it to your technique. Maybe you got a different way of popping. But adapt it to your technique and hopefully it'll work for you where you can catch more and bigger fish. That's what we want to do. We want to learn a little bit pass it on that's the fisherman's way catch more and bigger fish hey shimano's fishing with us again kp shimano shimino i'm sorry he was fishing with us last time he must like this He's got some good videos, too. I've watched his videos and take his techniques and adapt them to my way, what works for me, and some of his techniques work with me doing it my way. And I give him credit when I do a video and I use some of his techniques. I say that these, this is the, partly the way that K.P. Shamino fishes. Now, the difference being down in Florida, 
for the bass. He likes to fish 5 a.m. Well, evidently he's never been to Florida. The real fish come out at night and I've never seen him do a video on night peak fishing bass and that's what I fish and I catch a lot of big bass. To each his own. But I've fished down in Florida for real. And at night, that's when the big bass come out. They come out, they, they lay in the shade all day long. And then they come out at night to feed. Come on, Spots, where are you? And when they're feeding is when you can catch them. Yeah, unlike the game, when you're down there in real life, you catch most of your really big bass on shiners. Shiners and a float. No weights, no nothing. Just hook the shiner in the dorsal fin. Have about a eight foot leader. Throw it out there by the hydrilla and let that shiner work its way in. And it'll get in there where the big bass are and it'll tear it up. I worked at a fishing camp down there one summer. And one of the professional guides down there, his name was Dewey Oakleaf. Some of the uh, members of the Bass Angler Society there in town, it was in Tampa, came to the dock. And that's where I worked. I worked at the, at the dock at the fishing camp. And I said, man, Dewey's fighting a tarpon down there. I said, he done broke his rod, and he's, he's out in the water, water up to his waist, fighting that tarpon. And uh, they came in. We was talking. Well, about an hour later, Dewey came in, and he was... You know, he was, oh, come on, man, I should have caught that fish, da, 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 And one guy said, yeah, I said, that was a nice tarpon. He said, that wasn't no tarpon. That's a largemouth bass, the biggest bass he'd ever seen in his life. He said, it's every bit of 20 pounds, which is a big, big largemouth bass. Wow, we just getting knocked down one, every which way but loose now. <laughs> Come on, come on. That was KP. Shamino caught him a uni. That time, nice one. Well, the unis are coming now. We're at 8.09. We missed ours. Missed our 30 minute one. Come on. You gotta be there. Come on. Everybody catching unis now but me now. Come on. Come on. I'll take a little one now. Come on. We need some fish. Thank you. We'll take that. Take them all. Come on. We ain't going to get that third uni today, that's for sure. I'll be happy for the second one. We only got 45 minutes of game time left.
Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let me show you where it's at. Come on. Let me show you where it's at. Come on. Let me show you where it's at. The name of the place. I like it like that. Except for that, I don't like that chain pickerel. <laughs> I told y'all I'm a crazy old man. My wife knows it. But that's just me. Come on, Vegan. Hit it. Thank you. There it is. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, way late. We still got time, though. We still got time to catch that third one. But I'd like some more Lilins and a couple more trophies in between now and then. That'd be nice. There's a lot of people in this game that have seen me fish for for some time, and they just expect me to catch unis. Okay. It don't hurt my feelings, but it just makes me wonder. They tell other people, nice one, nice fish. Way to go, whatever. I catch a, I catch a uni, and I... Nothing. And I tell other people, they just expect me, expect me to catch them. And maybe that's a, a sign of respect. I don't know. But I'm going to catch my share, I guess. <laughs> Today I want to catch more than my share, or this evening, whichever. we still got time. We still got time. Need a trophy or two to stay up there in that top. We'll even take little ones. We'll take little ones. Yes, sir. Yep, thank you. We're not proud. We'll take the little ones. Six little ones equal one big one. Any way you look at it. Okay, right there is where that been hit. That big hit. Not that time. We had a beautiful, beautiful day here today. It got up in the middle 60s. Little breeze, right comfortable. I have my dog with me all morning. I take him to church with me. I have two sons. One's a very, very smart Eagle Scout, and they used to be considered his daddy. And then I had another son when he was 10 years old. And he got to be a real athlete. And then I was considered his daddy. Now I got this dog. And now I'm considered Hercules' daddy. I guess one of these days I'll get my own ident identification. <laughs> That's okay. Getting close here. 
I don't think 34 pounds is going to hold the top 10. That's the way they're catching him trophies and unis. Let's see. Let's move over here at this side of the dock. Just for a different angle of retrieve. See what happens. Now, I really haven't caught as many chain pickerels this time as I did in that last competition. That's, I guess that's a plus. Ah. That's a nice fish. It's still there. Because <laughs> it's not in my net. Try a little reel and pop, reel and pop, see what happens. Ten minutes of game time. Get that other uni. I don't want to catch it when time runs out this time. Come on. Treat me right, game. Treat me right this time. Come on, come on, come on. Come back and get it. Come back and get it. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Ah. See there? That's a nice fish. Oh, me. That's the one I want. See where the lure is? It's way over there to the right. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it's still there. He'll be there for the next person, maybe. Or maybe for me if I get lucky. The next few minutes but not like that well that's another fish don't be a chain don't be a chain here we go thank you hey another trophy yes sir we'll take it I still haven't figured out how to turn those real hard. Eh, KP caught him another small trophy, small uni. I haven't figured out how to turn those real hard hits like that into catches. That that would be the trick in the game. That would be a video everybody would want to see. Oops, nobody told him nice fish. <laughs> Okay, Uni, come on. It's time. It's time. I don't want to be no red countdown you hit. I just assume you wouldn't hit. <laughs> don't hurt my feelings is what I'm saying. Don't hurt my feelings. Take a couple more trophies too. That wouldn't hurt my feelings either. We're not gonna get that third uni. Dog on it. Can't 
blame them for trying, though. We're trying. We're trying. Sixteen seconds. This is the last cast. Come on. Come on. Get you in here. Get in here. Get in here. Let me count this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. That's it. Well, sixth place. Let's take a picture of that. That ain't too bad. If I'd have caught that other uni to put me on up there, we're just five pounds out of fur, so that's not too bad. So, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll find out later where it, where it finishes. So, I appreciate you. God bless you. Uh, tight lines. Good luck. God bless you and your family. Catch lots of fish. Catch big fish. And watch some of my videos. Maybe you'll pick up a tip that'll help you do just that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, Y'all come back now, you hear? And I'll catch you later.